Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about serial analysis of gene expression. The genome has several genes. By the process of transcription, these genes result in the formation of mRNA. Now, depending on the requirement of the cell, some genes are transcribed more and the others are transcribed less. The cells also has genes that are transcribed under specific conditions and not transcribed under normal conditions. So scientists are always curious to know which genes are getting transcribed and which genes are not getting transcribed under specific conditions. To identify specific set of genes that are transcribed and to quantify the amount of transcription, scientists developed a brilliant strategy for analysis and this was known as serial analysis of gene expression. Let's see how this is done. The mRNA is first isolated and converted into cDNA. During this process, one end of the cDNA is tagged. In the next step, using a restriction enzyme, the cDNA is digested. Now to separate the tagged cDNA with the unwanted digested products, a bead is used which is very specific for the tag. The tag cDNA is attached with a bead and the rest of the unwanted digested products can be easily washed off. This mixture is then divided into two parts. The sticky ends of the digested cDNA are then ligated with an adapter. The adapter used for both these mixtures are different. Adapter F has its sequence complementary to the forward primer whereas adapter R has its sequence complementary to the reverse primer. In the next step, the cDNA attached with a bead is digested with a restriction enzyme. Once the digestion is complete, both of them are mixed and ligated. These are known as dye tags. Observe carefully, the dye tags have both the adapters, the adapter for the forward as well as reverse primer. In the next step, using forward and reverse primers specific for the adapters, PCR amplification of the dye tags is carried out. The PCR amplicons are then ligated. This ligation will result in formation of long chain. This is then finally ligated into a plasmid and transformed into a cell. Now to obtain information about the transcription profile, the insert present in the plasmid is amplified and sent for DNA sequencing. The sequencing analysis and bioinformatic analysis will reveal the information about the presence of gene and their copy number.